Now, you guys also have uh, water methanol injection kits that you guys manufacture here in house. What uh, what exactly does that do? Uh, do you typically recommend a water methanol mix or straight methanol? And uh, what's the difference between a, your kit and the competitors on your system? You know, when we set up our kit, we wanted something that worked well with our product. Um, most of the methanol systems you see out there, I mean, a lot of them are diesel based. Um, they're, they're set up for a vehicle that has a wide range of boost. So most of them are boost sensitive, and so their, their curve is based off of boost. Um, diesels have a very short RPM and a big boost range. Uh, gas engines, on the other hand, have quite a bit of RPM range and a very short boost range. You, know, you are at seven pounds of boost and it's pretty much either not on boost or it's at seven pounds or it's somewhere in between very quickly. And so uh, just the way the, the flow is set up on there, the curve, it's totally different than a diesel application. So our stuff, we've got it set up to where it matches more the RPM and the flow rate of the, the natural fuel system on the car. So when you add our system to a car that's already tuned, you don't have to do a lot of dialing in. It's the, it'll, it'll pretty much run the same map as your tuning, which is, is what you're after. You don't want to have to put something on and have to totally retune it. Um, as far as uh, going with you know water versus methanol, you just need to understand the differences of what what to do. You can run water, you can run methanol, you can run any kind of mix in between. Um, water is has a very specific gravity so it will pull in and absorb a lot of heat it can, it can do that methanol doesn't really have the ability to absorb a lot of heat um, so if you wanted to lower your uh, combustion temperatures to get rid of detonation water's great for that you know, knocks down your EGTs knocks down your combustion temps really helps fight detonation um, methanol however is really good at bringing intake temperatures down because it flashes at a lot lower point than water does. So, you know, we've seen, uh, I've seen it drop over 100 degrees off your intake temps just by spraying methanol in. And so you take something that's, especially like the supercharger where you've got 220, 240 degree intake temps on the roots, you can spray methanol in there and end up with, you know, 90 or 100 degree intake temps and to pick up a lot of horsepower by doing that. Um, you also pick up some boost on, on a root style by doing that. Um, I usually recommend a mix, you know, uh, if, if you need to spray straight water, you're probably running too much boost. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, 50-50 mix is nice. Um, you know, a lot of guys run washer fluid. It's really available and, and it's about a 30-70 mix. 70% water, 30% methanol, a little bit of blue coloring and some soap. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that, that's a pretty good, you know, combination for people that, you know, just don't want to hassle with mixing and pouring. Okay, how much is in there? Well, I mean, you add it, and then you put too much in, so you can't add enough to get it right. So you got to mix it in another container. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's good stuff. Uh, like I said, it really depends on what you're doing. If uh, if you're if you need some extra fuel, uh, you know your fuel injectors are on the edge. You, know, you probably want to run more more of a straight methanol kind of a mix to put you over the top. Um, I usually recommend tuning it to where it's okay, and then put the methanol on as a as a nice insurance policy. Uh, get people to, to tune on the methanol. You run out of methanol, everything goes wrong, it, it's, stuff happens pretty fast sometimes.